Leadership transitions are crucial moments in the Bible. They signify God's faithfulness and reveal his plan. Think about Abraham who was chosen to father a nation, and consider Moses whom God used to deliver his people from slavery. These transitions highlight a key principle. Leadership is a relay race, not a solo sprint. In the book of Joshua, we witness a pivotal transition. Moses, the great prophet, has died. Joshua, his faithful assistant, is chosen to lead Israel into the promised land. This transition is more than just a change in command. It's a profound transfer of vision, authority, and responsibility. This transition teaches us about faith, showcases courage, and exemplifies the importance of preparation. As we delve into Joshua's journey, we'll uncover timeless principles. These principles are applicable to our lives, our families, and our careers. This story resonates with leaders at all levels. It reminds us that true leadership is not about personal ambition. True leadership is about fulfilling a God-given purpose. It's about trusting God's promises. It's about leading with courage and conviction. Deuteronomy 31 paints a poignant picture. Moses, knowing his time is near, addresses the Israelites. He reminds them of God's faithfulness and emphasizes the importance of obeying God's law. He then commissions Joshua as his successor. Moses charges Joshua, be strong and courageous. These words weren't mere encouragement, they were a directive. They underscored the challenges ahead and highlighted the need for unwavering faith. Moses knew that leadership requires more than just competence. It demands character, it necessitates courage. He understood that Joshua would face opposition, confront fear, and would need strength from God. This transfer of leadership is a model for us. It underscores the importance of mentorship and highlights the power of preparation. Leaders should invest in others, equip them for success, and empower them to lead with confidence. Joshua chapter 1 begins a new era for Israel. Moses is gone. Joshua now leads. He receives clear instructions from God. Be strong and very courageous. God promises to be with Joshua, just as he was with Moses. Imagine the weight on Joshua's shoulders. He was leading a nation, entering unknown territory, and facing powerful enemies. Yet he chose to trust God. He embraced the challenge. He stepped into his destiny. This is a powerful reminder for us. We may face uncertainties and encounter challenges, but we must remember God is with us. His presence is our strength. His promises are our guide. Joshua's obedience is inspiring. He didn't hesitate. He didn't question. He acted on God's word. This is the essence of faith-filled leadership. It's about trusting God's plan, even when it seems impossible. It's about obeying his voice, even when we don't understand. The story of the spies in Joshua 2 reveals the fears and doubts within the Israelites. The majority of the spies focused on the obstacles. They saw giants, they saw fortified cities, they lost sight of God's promise. Only two spies, Caleb and Joshua, remained faithful. They saw the same obstacles, but their perspective was different. They saw opportunity, they saw victory, they saw God's hand at work. This story reminds us that our perspective shapes our reality. Fear focuses on the negative, faith focuses on God's power. Courage is not the absence of fear, it is trusting God in spite of fear. As leaders we will face giants, we will encounter opposition, our response will determine our success. Will we cower in fear, or will we stand strong in faith? Will we allow challenges to paralyze us, or will we use them as stepping stones to victory? Section 5, The Power of Obedience, Walls Come Tumbling Down The fall of Jericho in Joshua 6 is a testament to the power of obedience. God gave Joshua specific unusual instructions. March around the city once a day for six days. On the seventh day, march around it seven times. Then, blow the trumpets and shout, the walls will collapse. These instructions didn't make military sense. Yet, Joshua obeyed. He trusted God's plan more than his own understanding. The result? A miraculous victory. The walls crumbled. The city was conquered. This story teaches us a profound lesson. Obedience unlocks God's power. When we follow God's guidance, even when it seems illogical, we position ourselves for His blessings. We experience His faithfulness. We witness His power at work in our lives. This principle applies to every area of our lives. In our families, obedience to God's principles fosters harmony and love. In our careers, integrity and ethical conduct pave the way for success. In our personal lives, following God's path leads to fulfillment and purpose. Section 6, A Legacy Forged in Faith, The Allotment of Inheritance 
Following the fall of Jericho, Joshua led the Israelites in a series of conquests. They defeated kings, they claimed the land, they established their inheritance. This was a time of victory. It was a time of blessing. It was a time of fulfillment. Yet amidst the victories, Joshua reminded the people of their responsibility. He urged them to remain faithful to God. He warned them against idolatry. He emphasized the importance of obedience. This part of Joshua's story teaches us about legacy. True legacy is not measured by material possessions or worldly accomplishments. It is measured by the impact we have on others. It is defined by the values we pass on to future generations. What will our legacy be? Will it be one of faith? Will it be one of courage? Will it be one of obedience to God? These are the qualities that matter. These are the qualities that endure. Section 7, Leading with Integrity. The covenant renewed at Shechem. In Joshua 24, we witness a powerful scene. Joshua gathers the Israelites at Shechem. He recounts God's faithfulness. He reminds them of their covenant with God. He challenges them to choose whom they will serve. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, Joshua declares. Joshua 24, 15. This was not a suggestion. This was a call to commitment. It was a call to renew their allegiance to God. This event underscores the importance of integrity in leadership. True leaders lead by example. They live out their convictions. They inspire others to do the same. They are not afraid to stand up for what is right even when it's unpopular. Joshua's leadership was characterized by integrity. He led with conviction. He served with humility. He pointed people to God. These are the hallmarks of a true leader. These are the qualities that inspire trust, loyalty, and respect. Section 8, Mentorship Matters, The Power of Passing the Baton. Throughout his leadership, Joshua exemplified the importance of mentorship. He had learned from the best. He had served under Moses for many years. He had witnessed firsthand the qualities of a godly leader. Joshua's mentorship didn't end with his own leadership. He passed on the baton to the next generation. He equipped them to lead. He encouraged them to be strong and courageous. He reminded them to trust in God's promises. This is a powerful reminder for us. We have a responsibility to mentor others. We should invest in the next generation of leaders. We should share our wisdom. We should impart our values. We should equip them to lead with excellence and integrity. The legacy of Joshua is a testament to the power of mentorship. It highlights the impact one person can have on countless others. It reminds us that leadership is not about self-promotion. It's about serving others and empowering them to reach their full potential. Section 9. Conclusion. Living out the Joshua Principles. Joshua's journey is more than just a historical account. It is a blueprint for leadership. It is a testament to the power of faith. It is a call to courageous living. His story offers valuable lessons for leaders in all spheres of life. First, Joshua's life teaches us the importance of preparation. He spent years serving under Moses, learning the art of leadership. He observed Moses' interactions with God. He witnessed his unwavering faith. This preparation equipped Joshua to lead with confidence when his time came. Second, Joshua's story emphasizes the significance of courage. He faced giants both literally and figuratively. He led the Israelites into unknown territories. He never backed down from a challenge. He understood that courage is not the absence of fear, but the willingness to act in spite of it. Third, Joshua's life exemplifies the power of obedience. He followed God's instructions, even when they seemed illogical or difficult. He trusted God's plan more than his own understanding. This unwavering obedience led to victory after victory. Section 10. From the battlefield to the boardroom. The principles gleaned from Joshua's life are timeless. They are as relevant today as they were thousands of years ago. They apply to every area of our lives, our families, our careers, our relationships, and our personal growth. In the workplace, we face challenges that require courage and decisiveness. We need to make tough choices, lead teams through uncertainty, and navigate complex situations. Joshua's example teaches us to face these challenges head-on, trusting in God's guidance and leading with integrity. In our families, we are called to be leaders who instill faith, courage, and obedience in the next generation. We need to model these qualities for our children and create an environment where they feel empowered to face their own giants. In our personal lives, we all encounter obstacles and setbacks. 
Joshua's story reminds us that we don't have to face them alone. We have a God who is always with us, who guides our steps, and who empowers us to overcome any obstacle. Section 11, Embracing the Joshua Legacy. As we reflect on the life of Joshua, let us be inspired by his unwavering faith, his courageous leadership, and his steadfast obedience. Let us strive to embody these qualities in our own lives, leading by example and making a positive impact on the world around us. The torch of leadership has been passed to us. Let us carry it with honor, with integrity, and with a deep-seated trust in the God who promises to be with us every step of the way. Let us be modern-day Joshua's leading with faith, courage, and obedience and leaving a legacy that will inspire generations to come. Remember, the promised land is not a distant destination, but a present reality for those who dare to trust and obey.